Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about another fashion related content and the video is going to be all about five fashion mistakes that we all out there might have made in our life. So obviously I cannot speak for everyone out there but I can definitely tell you that I have definitely made those fashion mistakes that I'm going to be discussing in this video and my aim is that you out there are informed about it and you can prevent sliding into the same mistakes and ending up with a wardrobe that might not be optimal optimal for you or might not satisfy your needs. So let's get started. So guys, at this point I wanted to quickly insert a short reminder to you. If you are first time on the channel or are not subscribed, please check rest of the content out and subscribe right now. Click the like button, ring the bell, do all the things because that's going to support this tiny channel very, very much. I'm going to also link my ongoing giveaway here on the screen as in every other video and put it in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Um, I'm filming two times a week about fashion, lifestyle related content, luxury, uh, handbags, designer items and everything uh, related to this. So guys, if you're already checking out such type of content here on YouTube, I would be honestly very, very glad if you join my friends list. The first fashion mistake that I see a lot of people make out there, including myself, is buying the same thing too many times. Well, I am big advocate for having good basics because I believe that covering the basics creates really stable solid ground for a good wardrobe but there is certain limit to things we all know that having a little black dress is a classic and everyone needs to have it but once you end up having hundred little black dresses in your wardrobe you might really start to question obviously we have to put um, everything into proportion how big your wardrobe is what type of lifestyle you have uh, what type of work you do and how often do you need to wear such one particular item but in any scenario I believe that having one and the same item too many times will it be a good blazer will it be a tight jeans or a crisp white shirt I believe that having too many of the one and the same item might start to look a little bit repetitive redundant and boring in your wardrobe try to repurpose the items that you have by um, mixing and matching them and styling them a little bit different for example we talked about like little black dress if you have a black dress or any other other type of dress depending on the season you can put a blazer on top of it or put a chunky a sweater which sort of breaks it up and creates an illusion that's an other skirt uh, from your wardrobe also even adding little accessories like belts might completely change the look of the same item even putting aside those tricks I would say that look at your uh, wardrobe strategically check out what you have already covered and then be a little bit daring um, in terms of trying the new things Obviously, you might not want to go all bold, go into a complete opposite of like picking up the items that was always no go for yourself, but just try to break margins of convenience in which you are already settled and try to have fun with the fashion. The second fashion mistake that I want to talk to you about is forgetting your silhouette when shopping. Now, this one I have experienced firsthand in my immediate surrounding in a very close relative circle where I really had a trouble to communicate um, it politely without really hurting the other person that the choices he or she was making would not exactly look on her him um, as he or she imagined it to be and um, here I think the important point is like if you're a person who is doing a lot of online shopping like I am or if you are a person who goes into the shop, try things out and makes the decisions thereby, um, I think uh, you know, online shopping can be very very tricky. When you look at the silhouette of a model which is well styled, well trimmed, pictures are retouched, the lighting is perfect, it might translate very different on your particular body um, if you don't take into uh, consideration your own proportions here my tip would be not to rush into the decision if you like something just drop it into the card like and take your time think about it sleep over it look at the descriptions for example what I always do is like most of the web pages give details about how tall the model is what size they are wearing I go in front of the mirror check out my proportions once again even though I feel like that I know myself very very well I also think about what features do I want to accentuate on my particular silhouette and this might be different for you 
uh, out there and then make the decision accordingly um, I think this would prevent a lot of disappointment when the item arrives at yours which as told I have experienced many times firsthand that brings me to my third fashion mistake which I want to discuss together with you don't shy away to size up or size down when it comes to shopping I know a lot of people want to stay in the same size category when it comes to their jeans, belt, waist, line areas or overall the clothing or even with the shoes. There is this weird stereotype that it's awkward for girls to have a large feet and I know so many girls were like squeezing their feet in small shoes and it looks so bad when the leather or the material of the shoe starts to bend out. First of all that it's an absurd that we all have to be the same size and the same shape and second of all we also change. Since I came to Germany I gained 9 kilogram even though I'm still skinny I was literally like bones and skin before and obviously my sizing has changed respectively which I'm absolutely embracing and will continue embracing as the life goes on currently I'm really loving that I have narrow waistline and I'm putting a lot of emphasis on that area but, but if I observe that certain brands in their uh, sizing chart don't exactly sit on me as the other ones I never shy away from getting something size larger or, or vice versa sizing down um, in my particular case sizing down means often going to the children's section and buying something from there I definitely have a short mini dress which I brought in Zara uh, which was from the children's category it was for 14 year old um, children and I have been rocking it um, past few years without anyone ever questioning if it was for a full grown-up woman um, or for kids I think the proper tailoring and something sitting on yourself well is a lot more important than the, the number that stands behind the label if it's bothering you very very much just buy something in size up and just I would say cut the label so that you don't have to see it and get reminded on something that is apparently bothering you bad enough that it's bothering you but if it's bothering you just cut it off and convince your mind that you are still the same size um, if that's doing well for your mental health another tip that I have for you in this situation is as well to buy things in two sizes if you have financial means um, and then return the one which is not properly sitting on you I definitely have made my share of mistakes especially when it comes to shoes I have bought several pumps which when I tried on uh, first hour was absolutely fine but because of the pressure on the feet standing all day long or heat temperature doesn't really matter it started to swell a little bit it was starting to ache so badly that I ended up not using those shoes anymore that's why I'm careful when I buy shoes nowadays um, and I prefer them being very loose vis-a-vis -vis sitting tight on my feet that's also a lesson learned for myself but nowadays there is an availability in the online shop and I, if I have enough money for it I definitely prefer to buy them in both sizes and send then one back it would help you to have very well tailored and well fitted items in your wardrobe in the end the first mistake that a lot of people out there might be making in 2021 and I'm underlining this especially is using the sweat sets as sole laundry pieces for home um, now we all remember the 2013 late Karl Lagerfeld who is an absolute icon said that sweatpants were the sign of defeat um, meant that you lost the control over your life so you went out and bought the sweatpants um, which always brings a little bit of smile on my face he obviously has seen how the fashion trends have developed over the time um, and now in 2021 uh, the sweatpants are at absolute zenith of its success so to say maybe corona contributed to it partially but I don't think that was the sole reason we all see that the fashion is tending more to become as comfortable as possible those chunky shoes and loafers and oversized fits everything in that direction sweatpants obviously won't change now the black tie events however I believe that we can uh, pick out several sweat sets which could be dressed up to look more smart and appropriate to certain outdoor situations or even to particular works not all of them obviously here big role is played how do you accessorize it what type of bag you carry with it what type of shoes you carry with it a lot of people even pair the high heels with sweatpants they're very 
very very plain sweat sets which come from Basilica or um, or Frankie's shop Anina Bing has absolutely beautiful classic looking sweat sets I'm gonna link all of my favorite ones down in the description box below these ones which I mentioned right now are a little bit on the pricier side but if you look into the Zara or Mango um, they also provide good bases for lovely sweat sets uh, I remember that recently when I checked it out I think Mango had a white crisp white um, uh, sweat shirt with short shorts uh, which I thought would look so lovely uh, on so many people out there it was not pricey as well if you add up a little bit of um, jewelry makeup a little bit more classic handbag maybe even blazer on top of it it won't look like you just rolled out of your bed so if you have put taboo on sweat sets until now this might be a good moment to revise your opinion about it and check out what the market provides at the moment. Fifth and the last fashion mistake in my opinion that so many people out there are doing is taking fashion too serious. Um, I think fashion is supposed to be fun, it is a means to express how we feel that day, how we feel about ourselves. It's just the first statement before opening our mouth when being on the street in front of our colleagues, in front of our friends, but also people who don't know us, who are passing by. Just don't shy away from being bold, just don't shy away from trying things out, which you might say that was a mistake after a few years. You might laugh or cringe when seeing pictures of yourself from back in the day, but that's absolutely fine because this is the one field and one thing in life that we all can allow ourselves to treat as entertaining part of the day. So um, I think as soon as you will start looking at it with a bit more open mind, you won't fall into this box of thinking, oh, this is inappropriate for work. This handbag cannot be worn to work because it says logo, it says I have money. Because at the end of the day, I truly believe that who cares? And if your surrounding or the work starts to judge you based on whatever you are wearing, I would think that you might need to start considering if that's the right surrounding or job for you at the end of the day. That is it for my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope to apologize for the light situation in this video. We have seen heavy rainfall, storm and sun at the same time interchanging one another, which obviously doesn't make it easy to film. Um, I hope it was not very, very bad uh, for you to watch. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Please say hi if you are new here. I'm gonna be glad to see you on board. Have a great weekend now and I'm gonna see you on my next one.